All right, what's up, guys? First of all, a salute to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Throw me some love. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, keep following for more good nuggets. Listen, the more I do this, the better I will get. Um, as I move to Thailand in the next two months, I will be buying a drone. That's one of the biggest uh, investments I'm going to make. Uh, buying a drone, starting to make different types of content and whatnot. And interacting with some of the people there and especially some of the women that's the direction i intend to go um with my content if you will now that's my other channel come with me to thailand check it out if you have it with that said let's get right to it guys modern american women and this doesn't mean all i know this isn't all this is just <laughs> the plurality and ladies listen i can't sit here and talk about the exceptions I got to talk about the rule, unfortunately. Just like the rule with men is that men are violent, even though that's not necessarily true. Men are violent. They can be violent, but most men are not that way. But we have to accept that women see that as a rule when it comes to men. It's just what it is. It's an unhealthy reality. Or it's not, excuse me, it's not unhealthy. To me, that's a natural instinct that women should have because men can do damage. Men are violent. We don't trust other men, even as men. So with that said, that's why we are the way we are. So let's get right to the topic, guys. This is gonna hurt some feelings. Modern American women, they don't want a man. They don't want a husband. They want a sponsor, a sponsor. And guys, I've met too many over the last few years. I've smashed too many chicks that were in like marriages or like relationships and whatnot. And I'm not bragging about any of that. It's wrong. I'm wrong. Some of them I knew about, some of them I didn't know about. I've seen the debauchery and the, <laughs> the magnitude of the lies that uh, some of the, today's modern women are willing to go through. It's unreal to me because I don't think a man could ever keep up the lies these hoes are doing. Unbelievable. As I said, I've had chicks sitting on me, riding me. <laughs> cowgirl, or reverse cowgirl, FaceTiming her man while she was getting stuffed and plugged and piped down. And she had him apologizing to her. That was a huge moment for me. And I'm not saying all of them do this. No. And I'm not saying that men don't do dirt. Of course they do. We know that. But I'm talking to men that don't do dirt. Most men don't do dirt like this, but most men are shocked at the magnitude of the dirt that they see that women are capable of because they have this fantasy in their mind that women are sugar spice and everything nice. And I'm trying to tell you, women are the most ruthless fucking creatures on this planet. Ruthless. That's a good and a bad thing. Depends on how it's channeled. Meaning, if your girl is ruthless for you, shit. We can do business. But if your girl is ruthless in general, she's solipsistic, and she's like a, has the right amount of like selfishness about her, man, you're finished. And she will do anything to get what she wants. And women have the ability, in my opinion, to like socially maneuver their way to getting what they want way more than a man could ever imagine. This is why men just collect items, collect things, collect resources over here on the side. Yeah, we've got that house hanging up on the hill. But we don't want to have to socially fight all of your friends for you, I guess you could say. But women, they, they operate differently, guys. They just do. This is why women are more or less uh, predisposed towards men who other women desire. I'm just, Dude, nothing turns a woman on more than a man who's taken. It's what it is. But let me tell you something. Let me go into the next topic, why I'm doing this video, is that women today don't want a man. They don't want a man to, to keep out, watch for them. They don't want a man that they're going to listen to, respect, honor. No. Even a man who could give her the easiest life, like, like on autopilot. Stay at home, take care of the kids, raise the family. Even if she says that's what she wants. Guys, let me tell you something. These women want a fucking sponsor. They don't want a man, they want a fucking sponsor. They want to sponsor, but listen, that's, it doesn't end there. 
It doesn't end there. That sponsor has nothing to do with her sex life. That sponsor has nothing to do with her married life. Because these women will be married and still have a fucking sponsor. These women will be out there and be quote unquote single and have a fucking sponsor. Maybe multiple sponsors. It's a very common thing. I just did a video, which I re redid. It's uploading as I make this video. An interview with a sugar baby that's got a fucking sponsor that, that like put his fucking debit card, his debit card in her Apple Pay. That's how bad it is, guys. This is what I'm saying. In America, you can't compete with this. Listen, women, y'all are gone. I'm not giving any of you hoes a pass. Most of you have bought into this lie and this deception. To me, you look like a, a damn drug addict. You look stupid. You're gone. You can't be reasoned with. You can't be talked out of it. You believe that's owed to you because you're a damn drug addict. A woman that's become a sugar baby or sponsored by a certain man, and I'm not justifying that man, but bitch, I'm holding you responsible too. I don't think it's right for men to do this. Because any one of these chicks, I know a, few, I know a couple different personal, like women. And the one I just did an interview with is not my, she's not my girl. She's not a girl I've ever slept with. She's a personal friend of mine. I would never, this is, but she's honest with me. And we talked about it. And we were talking about it the other night. And I said, would you want to do an interview? She said, yeah. Because she was laughing about, she was wanting to buy something from me. And she was like, let me get, let me hit him up and zill him the money. I was like, whoa, 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 what do you mean hit him up? And she started going into it. And I was like, this dude, I was like, oh, we got to talk. So I did the interview the best I could, guys. And listen, that's my first interview. <laughs> I did the best I can. These chicks want sponsors. They don't want men. They want men that sit there and fund their lifestyle and shut the fuck up. And allow them to go out there and cheat, sleep around, and do the whole 304 shit they do. That's what they want. This includes, especially in today's times, single mothers. Single mothers are the most pent-up women, especially in America. These women want the freedom to go out and live their life. And finally, a sucker like you has come in and offered to free her up from all those vices that she put herself under. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like you did any of that stuff, but you're going to pay the price for it. So now that you can fund her not having to work and stress about all that shit, maybe you'll babysit. She can go out there and be a 304 like she was always intending to be. Those kids interrupted her 304 phase. And I'm dead serious about this. These chicks want a sponsor. They don't want a man. They can't handle a man because a man's going to hold her ass accountable. He's going to require things of her just as a man is required of. Rightfully so. Men should be able to, to provide protection, provision, be able to fix things, change tires, fix leaks, and protect the household, the kids. And to even protect that woman from herself. This is the God's honest truth. And I'm not trying to bash, but this is the fucking truth. Modern women are so gone, so far gone, you can't talk to them. Guys, listen to me. You have to recognize and understand when time is up. And I'm telling every man that's hearing this, the time is up. Passport bros, white boys. Black, black men, salute you black men for finally coming on. White boys have been doing this for a while. It's been kind of under the radar and quiet. But man, let me tell you something. I'm happy and proud to see black men leaving because I can't believe black men stuck around this fucking long based on the way their women treat them. It's unbelievable to me. Man, I salute every man. Go like, enjoy the fruits of your fucking labor. You deserve it. You worked for it. You paid the price. And you suffered. You sacrificed. And damn it, go fucking get what you want and what you deserve with the resources you have. Whether or not American women value that amount of resources as, as a good enough amount. Listen, the chicks in the Philippines and Dominican and all that shit in Thailand, it's a good enough amount. 
And this is my point. Now, I'm not saying go over there and get duped. Don't go over there and get duped. Because chicks over there will take advantage of your ass too. But <laughs> your chances are much better than here. At least those... Eat, dude, you can... This, this is so bad. And I hate to say... I'm going to say it. Fuck it. I'm going to say it. It is so fucking bad in America that when you show a clip side by side of walking down Walking Street in Pattaya, Thailand, a street lined front to back with 304s for sale. And these women know how to act like women. It is that fucking bad that these women are women I would rather spend my time with than women here in America for quote unquote free, which there ain't no such thing. This is the fucking truth. Women have abandoned their feminine essence, which gave them the, the power to, to draw men in. Men just like, like men that wanted to settle down and find a chick. I'm not saying go wife up chicks in Thailand. I'm just saying a man would rather at least spend time with a chick that's pleasant, sweet, feminine, soft. Ready to, like, where do you want to go? She's ready to follow. And, and, and for all the crap that these American bitches are talking about, like, these are, these are dirt, third world poor. No, these chicks make, they make as much money as I do. Fuck out of here with that crap, bitch. Oh, well, they're drug addicts. Now you're insulting women. So, let me guess. You don't like women, right? These American women are insulting other women. Let's just call it what the fuck it is. American women want sponsors. They don't want men because they can't handle fucking men. But women in other nations, they want men. They want men. Men to be men. They appreciate and respect what a man brings to the table. And I'm talking about good men. Women overlook 80% of the men here. So when you hear them talking and spouting their shit, just ignore it. Because 80% of the men in America are overlooked. And a lot of these, that group of men are the ones that are leaving. She might have overlooked my ass, but bitch, I, I got more money than you do. And it's funny, like, because you didn't lead off with your wallet to that chick you shot your shot with here in America. She rejected you because she didn't think you was shit. But then when you fucking step up and you want to level up and finally you want to express and exert yourself with that financial power prowess that you have. Oh, suddenly she wants to show up. No. Guys, American women want fucking sponsors. And they want to be left alone to do the debauchery they've always been doing. They want to sponsor and they want to have as many men coming in, running eggplants, plowing through. And guess what? Women never fuck the sponsor. The sponsor is the, le the man she is least attracted to. But she will take as much from him as she can. And listen, I'm not trying to bash. Ladies, listen, I'm not a sponsor. I would never sponsor a bitch. But the fact that you're willing to take that, you know, I talked to this chick after I cut the video and I told her, I said, you realize that you've sacrificed completely your chance of ever getting a good man. She says, I know. So for that, I can respect the fact that a woman knows that she has crossed that Rubicon and there is no coming back. It's the women that don't realize they think they can go out there and be OF thoughts, Instagram thoughts, 304s out here for the streets and have one, two, three, four, 304 phases, divorced men, single mothers, and they think they can go to Cancun and Cozumel and come back and find a good man, bitch. You, what the fuck are you smoking, bitch? These hoes in other countries don't do this shit. This is why men are leaving. Because I will never be a fucking sponsor so a woman can go out there and live the life she really wants to fucking live. You done lost your mind. And simps, all of you simp motherfuckers sponsoring women, paying money, subscribing to OnlyFans, you motherfuckers are the worst. I can't stand you cocksuckers because I can go look at any one of these chicks that shows a little bit of camel toe on TikTok and all of the simps in her fucking comments. It makes me want to throw up and choke every one of these motherfuckers. Because this is the this is what's 
perp like perpetuating the fucking problem. So with that said, listen, I can't blame it. The situation has blame to go all around. But guys, listen, this is where we are in America. Women today want fucking sponsors, but they want to be modern. They want to go out there and be 304s, but they want a sponsor. They'll take it by any means. Some of these women have multiple sponsors, man. You don't even know how many like pages they're using. Seeking Arrangements is not, not the only one. There's other ones. It's, it's that bad out here. So, guys, it's time to fucking wake up. Listen, good men that want to one day have that, get your ass out of here. White men, black men, Latinos, Asians, listen, anyone that's in, under the sound of my voice, under like in the Western society, or especially in America, men, if you have the capability to leave, fucking leave. These chicks don't want you. You're not going to find a woman that wants you for you. You're going to find a woman that's going to lay it on thick. Just like the chicks I know. They are good at selling attraction to a man. A sponsor. And that sponsor actually fucking believes. Now I'm not saying that he... Listen, to me, these simps, fuck them. You know, I don't care. I don't feel bad for them. But that... You're dealing with actors, man. Good actors. Now, I'm not saying there aren't actors over there. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. Don't lead off with your wallet. Kind of play it a little bit cool when you go over there. Don't live like a fucking tourist or a visitor. Live like a resident. That's when you'll truly find. If I think you're going to find something. If you go over there and live like a tourist, of course you're going to find all these th this attention and shit. Yeah. But it's short-lived. So go over there and live like a fucking resident, as I've talked about, and you'll see. This is where it is. You want to gauge attraction? A chick that doesn't see you at that pinnacle. She doesn't see your bank account. And she actually likes you for you. And she's got a family, a strong family, a good father, good brothers, all that stuff. This is what it is. If you're going to go down that route, and I'm not recommending even going down that route, but understand to me, that option is much safer than staying here. It's much, <laughs> staying here is a fool's move. Men, pack your bags, get your passport, and bounce. Bounce. White men, black men especially. You motherfuckers, I can't believe y'all stay. Hey, kudos, shout out. All the, the black manosphere has set my ass free. Seeing black men do this, and I'm like, God damn, I can't believe y'all took y'all took the shit you took. Man, it's unbelievable what black men put up with. I'm serious. But with that said, listen, that don't mean I gotta wait for it to get that fucking bad. <laughs> and and uh, listen, these white chicks are fucking sluts too, man. They're 304s. They're vindictive, manipulating. Booty calling motherfuckers too. Come on, man. They're good at it. I would argue they're better actors than black women. I'm sorry. White women are better actors than black women. I know it's going to piss some people off, but listen, nobody cares when any other woman cries, but when a white woman cries, the whole fucking world stops. Let a white woman start crying. A white woman. Not a white guy. A white woman. Let a white chick start crying. Man, it's game over. Whatever she accuses you of, you're guilty. <laughs> there is no getting out of it. And black men especially know. That whole story I'm not going to get into from back in the day, that false accusation shit that turned out in a bad way. Nothing scarier than a white girl crying. This is especially true to uh, white guys, obviously, but man, black men, you especially know. <laughs> this is why I'm saying men, 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 men. It's time to go. Take your money, take your resources, and bounce. Let's go flourish. Meet me. Hit me up. I'm going to Thailand. Two months tops. I will see you there. I love y'all. For real. Thank you so much, and I'm out.